with girls a lot, huh? No. I hear see in my ears. See? In your ears? Yes. I don't know what to say or what to do. I want to talk, but I hear see in my ears. Hi there, welcome to Think Talk. I'm your host, Nellie Young Me, and I hope your year is going really well for you because right now it's going to go really well for us. Today we have writer and director Eran Kuliran for The Band's Visit. Eran, thank you so much for thank being here. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> yes, you're welcome. Yeah. Um, could you please tell us about your film? Uh, it's a film about uh, an Egyptian police orchestra that uh, travels to Israel in order to play some not very important concert and gets lost on its way and have the whole orchestra had have to spend the night over in a small forgotten desolate Israeli town somewhere in the desert and most of the movie is about this night they spend over there okay and um, and the name of this Orchestra was the Alexandria. Alexandria S Traditional Police Orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. it was a really good movie. Uh -huh. And um, we have a student from George Washington University. His name is Clark, and he has a question for you. Oh, Let's okay. check him out. <laughs> Hi, my name is Clark, and I go to GW, and I have a question for Aaron Kohlerin. Uh I was wondering what he hoped to achieve uh, with his movie, The Band and uh, if there's any message that he's trying to get across with the movie. Thanks. Ah, uh, no, no messages for me. You know, <laughs> if, uh, you know, if you could summarize your whole film into a message, then why bother spending so many years of your life on doing the film? You do a film because it does not go into certain message. It encompasses and resonant on a lot of thoughts that you have and a lot of questions that you have and... And anyone can take some message that he wants from it, but I don't have a message, you know. It's not into one line. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So since you say you have no message, but could you tell us where this film came from? Uh, it just it, it became with a, an image I had in my head of uh, a man dressed in a police uniform, a very strict and pedant man who has... Uh, who opens his mouth and starts singing an Arabic song. And uh, I, I wanted the whole movie to have this con contradiction between a very strict exterior and something that beats underneath, like a song that want to get out, you know. And uh, this, this was the first image that got this whole movie m on the tracks. <laughs> when? <laughs> when was this image? Uh, when? Yeah, when did when, I... <laughs> what year was this? How many uh, years yeah, ago? Yeah, it was uh, a couple of years, years ago. It took a lot of time to raise the money to write the script. Uh, I think it all began somewhere in the beginning of the year 2001. <laughs> I started <laughs> started writing, starting to have the the, the, the script, and, uh, and now it's released. <laughs> oh, wow, and yeah. you mentioned something about money. Yeah. <laughs> and we also have a student who has a question for you, and okay. we will go to Steve. Steve, Steve has a question. Okay. Uh, my name is Steve, George Washington University. Uh, where do you guys get all that money from? <laughs> He's very to the point. <laughs> very to the point. Well, I come from a less... Uh, less uh, commercial uh, capitalist system than from the states. In Israel, most of the money you get from the government. There's an Israeli film fund that finance uh, about half of your budget for film. And the point is, until you get them to uh, finance a film, it takes a lot of time. And but it's it's more it's it's more uh, cultural funds, like they f would finance museums, they would finance films. And uh, the rest of the money, after you get from them, you have to get from private uh, hands. You go to TV, you go to, to private investor. But most of it is from the government cultural uh, budget. <laughs> you won Best Screenplay in 1999 for 
Yeah, to other scene. Yeah, that was my first screenplay for cinema. My uh, my very first thing that I ever wrote, and uh, and uh, yeah, I was very young and uh, had <laughs> irresponsible <laughs> writer back then. I was uh, writing these very flashy stories with guns and uh, and uh, and crimes and robberies <laughs> and stuff, but it, it turned out quite nice. And uh, so this was my very first thing, and then I went on to write on tele in, in Israel on television and wrote a couple of drama series and then I did a movie for television and then finally I could make my film for the big screen. <laughs> Mr. Kulirin, I want to know where did you learn to write and direct? I grew up in a house that was somehow connected to film since my father was directing films and editing films so from a very young age I remember myself sitting in editing rooms and you know I had this knowledge of the there's something called the camera and somehow you do film so it was something that kind of uh, went in my blood from a very early age and I just I never learned it formally I just started writing and I think the, f the first stage that I really started learning something was the first time that I let someone read something and and got his comments and not freaked out immediately, but listened and went back and rewrite it. And that was when you when you learn to accept and do this, you kind of start learning. I think. So, you mentioned your your first screenplay that you won. Yeah. What was? How do yeah, you pronounce Zohar it? Yeah, Zohar Hadassim was called. Yeah. Zohar Hadassim. Yeah. Zohar Hadassim. Yeah. How many times did you have to write Zohar Hadassim before it was presentable? Well, the truth is, Zohar Hadassim was, uh, I'd say there was a plus and minus to, to it, because somehow it, it went on very, very fast. I was, it was my first screenplay, I was very arrogant as a young man, I was, I was again, irresponsible for what I write, I had, I had, um, I had the flash of a young writer that is like, uh, which is something that I, I, I'm losing now, you know, I don't have this very easy hand anymore. But on the other hand, it wasn't profound, you know, enough what you write. But it went on very fast, and um, and I think I started to develop from this uh, screenplay on, getting heavier on the one hand, but getting more, uh, you know, deep, I hope, on the other hand. <laughs> well, your, your movie, The Band's Visit, obviously reflects the depth I hope of your so <laughs> I hope so yeah you get uh, it's it's a matter of maturity you you change I don't know uh, maybe you know in a few years I look back on it on it and I say no it wasn't good enough I have something new <laughs> oh okay before before <laughs> yeah. we go on into that yeah. we have one more question from Kel from George Washington okay. University Hey, what's up? My name's Kel. I uh, go to George Washington University. I have a question for Aaron. Basically, I'm just wanting to know if there are any uh, growing pains or anything you really learned while doing your first feature film that uh, is going to help you as you go on uh, throughout your career and whatnot. And I uh, appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> what is it? Growing pains? I have a growing pain in my back. From, uh, <laughs> it's going to get worse, I think, over the years. Uh, no, you know, you learn. Everything you do, you learn. Uh, I, I, again, I cannot really, I'm sorry, but I don't have this short tagline to say, you know, do this, you know. I've learning, I'm learning more and more to accept and to say, you know, I'm not sure about what I'm doing. Um, I have questions. Sometimes on set I would be more open and say, look, something is not working for me, but I, I don't really know what it is. Let's find that together. I think... This is a process that you, you learn along the way because to begin with you, you think you have to show everyone that you're very sure and you know what you're doing because of you, have, you want to cover your insecureness. But I think what happens along the year is, is that you're more open to say, you know, I'm not very sure, I'm trying to find it, let's try to find it together doesn't work this way let's try the other way it's not it's not this you know big monumental thing this is the way okay. yeah. well mr Aaron, thank you so much thank you thank you for being here and it was a pleasure it was a pleasure for me also thank you and we have learned a lot <laughs> thank you thanks <laughs> you have been watching an interview with mr Aaron Kulirin for the band's visit make sure you check it out and thank you so much for watching think talk i'm your host nelly young me